Thanks for joining me guys for another video beer review and again it's one of these sort of beers you see it all the time and you just never pick it up and I was in my local bottle shop I say bottle shop it's it's a wine shop with a few decent beers sort of tucked away in the corner and they were reducing it down to £1.70 a bottle and it is the legend Orval the Trappist Ale and this one is weighing in at 6.2% ABV um, from uh, Brasserie de Orval um, I think this is the only beer they make as well lovely crown on that I keep saying I need to make more of an effort with Belgian beers because it's just I don't know I just always seem to bypass it I don't think it's deliberate I think I'm just sucked off with all this sort of like you know decent American stuff and of course you know the fantastic British beers that are being made at the moment and, and these sort of classic beers they just get forgotten but I saw it and I thought for the price of it it's it's got to be worth a review um, so let's get it out into a glass sort of looking forward to it I've heard some good things about it um, bottled on 23rd of the 3rd 17 used by 23rd of the 3rd 2022 20, so that's got sort of put me away in the cupboard for a few years, job written all over it. And I think I might just go back to the shop and pick another bottle up actually, just to see what it's like with a little bit of age on. Boom, loads of smoke. Lovely. The only Belgian glass I've got as well is this chimney goblet. So in we go. That's a good thing with this glass as well. It doesn't get used that often, but it just creates a lovely little sort of vortex of bubbles in that middle bit there, and it doesn't seem to go anywhere else. Um, it's got like a reddish tinge to it. With a, a one and a bit sort of spacious off-white head. Very, very sweet on the nose. Candied fruits for sure, that, uh, you know, the Belgian yeast really comes through at the forefront. It's got a, a almost, I want to say like a cider sort of whiff to it. Yeah, cider apple sort of smell to it. Cheers. Hmm. I don't know what I was expecting with this beer, to be honest. Um, I don't think I was expecting this, though. rich almost sticky fruit feel to it and so that bit bit of orange in there there's a little bit of tart apple lovely sweetness in there I mean, it's a quality beer. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, a, a, a tart 
fruit taste. Um, again, I want to say it, I, I'm going to say it, it's that horse blanket feel to it as well. Whatever the fuck that means, I don't know, but you get the gist of it. It's, it's got a, I don't know, farmhouse, farmyard thing going on with it. Earthy, grassy. Candied fruit peel thing. A little bit of warmth on the finish. Nothing major though. I think for the price I paid for it, it's um it's a winner really. It's a decent decent Belgian beer. Hmm. I'm gonna uh, ponder this afternoon over this. Might open up a bit more. I mean, I haven't chilled up or anything like that. I just pulled it straight out of the cupboard. Um, but it's yeah. I'm glad. I, I'm glad I picked it up. I'm glad I've reviewed it. Brasserie de Orval, and this is their Orval Trappist Ale. Um, again, it's one of these beers. There's probably loads of reviews on there. I haven't. I haven't looked, but um, I'm guessing there's quite a few guys that have reviewed this but any of the guys that i'm familiar with i'll put their links down below there you go guys or val i'll see you on my next one cheers <laughs>